This is my barn find 1985 S15 Jimmy 4x4 that I found in my barn, actually where I parked it years ago. And it's covered in dust and I've been some cleaning out my barn slash shop. And uh, I just pulled it out today. Haven't been pulled out in years. Uh, hopefully soon we're going to get into it. And uh, I'm really excited about it. I can't wait to drive this. I bought this truck 17 years ago and I've never had it on the street. So hopefully that time is coming. Let me give you a brief tour of what this is. I'm going to have all the updates as I work on this truck on this channel. Years ago after I bought this, I bought this truck in 2006. So since then, I've gone through a lot of changes. It started off as a gutted orange shell with a, a running LT1 in an all-wheel drive transfer case. It wasn't fully hooked up. It didn't have the uh, didn't have the drive shaft. It had a prop shaft. It was a front-wheel drive truck back then. So back in the day when I was working on this, I used to update, I think it was 10 message boards with daily updates as I worked on it. Started with S-Series Forum, and that's where I bought it from a guy uh, that went by the name Hotwire back in 06. Uh, there was... There was S10 Forum, uh, Blazing Low. Uh, I can't even remember all of them anymore. There were so many, but but I kept all these all these websites up to date with my build progress. And then one day it just stopped running, and and it just fizzled out. And now it sits here. It looks kind of complete. Bumper's not really attached. The interior's not done. It's just covered in dust. So my plan is to get this going. I've got a lot of new parts for it. I'm really gonna get into it. When I first started this build, I really didn't have much money. So uh, I still don't, but I can afford to build this truck now. <laughs> so when I first started this truck build, uh, I really couldn't afford much anything. I was just nickel and diamond, uh, just piecing it together uh, as I went. And now I, I really plan to get into it. I want to make this truck right. I want to make exactly what, it, what I've always wanted it to be. I don't know if I'll be driving it this year, but I hope to be driving it in the next few years. Uh, I don't plan to own this truck for 20 years and never drive it. <laughs> for those of you that don't know what this truck is, this is a 1985 S15 Jimmy 4x4. It's been, been converted to all wheel drive. Uh, it has an LT1. It's a 96 Cadillac LT1 with 97 Camaro SS heads and intake. Uh, the CC502 cam, it sounds pretty meaty. It's got a lot of work done. The original guy who started it, his name's Zach, and he's a machinist, and he did some really cool stuff with it. He got the LT1 fit. And then the next guy, uh, it was an unfinished project, next guy that bought it, Hotwire, uh, he's a wiring guru. And, and very meticulous with every detail of what he does. So he took over this build and he got it fired up and running. He had a laptop plugged into it. Uh, back in those days, uh, you had a laptop with a serial port, which they don't even make anymore. Uh, LT1 Edit, Tuner Cat, he had those programs and he's working on getting it, uh, getting it ready to go. And then he had some health issues, decided to sell it for receipts. So I drove from Texas all the way to North Carolina. This is in Greensboro, North Carolina, and I bought this orange truck. It was a gutted shell with a running LT1 in it. it had second gen S10 interior, uh, power seat base, uh, all kinds of stuff. So somewhere along the line, I found a wrecked 1992 GMC Typhoon. It was in a head-on collision, and this truck was mint, but after this head-on collision, the whole front was just crushed but the interior was still mint. So when I bought that truck, I was able to get all the weather stripping, the whole interior, dash, seats, wiring harness, all that. Even these windows, I took these windows out of the Typhoon and these rubber uh, seals that seal this window into the truck, they came out of the Typhoon. All of these, all, all the rubber on this truck came from that Typhoon. It's got a Typhoon core support. I've got a Typhoon front bumper cover. Then I've got Sonoma GT bumperettes. I so much Sonoma GT gauges in this truck. Uh, man, it's got so much done to it. We've got 2000 Camaro Z28 disc brake conversion front and rear. 
97 to 99 Corvette wagon wheels, which look terrible on Corvettes because they're boxy, but I put them on this, it's two sets of rears. So these are 18s front and rear with 275 4018s. And, uh, and they fit great and then painted them black. And these boxy wheels look great on the boxy truck. Uh, during cash for clunkers, way back when they were crushing all those cars, I found a S10 Blazer, a two-door two-wheel drive. I was able to get these doors, and I found a second-gen Blazer. I took a right rear door and a left front door from the Blazer, and we cut the handles out, and we put them in here. These are functioning second-gen S10 door handles. Um, I also took the fender flares off of that cash for clunkers truck. Uh, they're two-wheel drive textured fender flares, and I sanded them smooth, and we painted them to match. And that's what we've got on this truck now. I've got it lowered. Currently, I've got Belltech leaf springs out back with a block and Bilstein shocks on the front. I've got uh, Belltech uh, lowering keys with the bolt backed out all the way and KYB Monomax shocks. But I've just joined a group purchase for coilovers for this last year. And I have the coilovers, and I'm probably going to do some QA ones. I don't have the coilovers. I have the control arms for the coilovers, so I'm going to get some QA ones to put on the front of this and get rid of the torsion bars altogether. So uh, I've got a good Mark Cowell induction hood I bought about 16 years ago. The body lines have been shaved here on the top. They were welded up and used fiberglass filler and then painted over. It's matching a 1996 Corvette Grand Sport Admiral Blue with the Arctic white stripe down the middle and the pinstripes beside the stripe to match the, the factory Chevy 96 Corvette Grand Sport, which is now what they call the heritage look, I guess, on the newer Grand Sports. So this was painted in, I think, about 2010. I worked at a shop in South Fort Worth and we got it painted back then. And uh, it's just kind of sat collecting dust ever since. And uh, I hope to get this thing running. I like to do some, some launches in this thing. We'll see. so long since I've seen one of these first gen S10s blazers out in the wild I forgot how small they are so this is my 2013 Escalade parked by my my first gen S10 S15 Jimmy blazer whatever you want to call it and uh, wow like it's really small so this thing with a big old V8 man it's really something like <laughs> This is a tiny little vehicle. I totally forgot how small they are. You know, every year cars get bigger and bigger and trucks get bigger and better. Well, the Jimmy's little. This is a little baby truck. Only side by side, there's a huge difference. This, and this isn't a huge truck. This is just a little half ton Escalade. It's not like it's a three quarter ton. It's not a heavy duty. It's just a normal sized truck. This is tiny. I'm six feet tall. This is little. This is about six feet tall, maybe, maybe a little over. But this is like midget car. It's awesome. 